welcome back to my channel my name is Kim Enchantress I'm here to do your couples reading for what is wrong with your relationships and it just doesn't pertain to your romantic relationships it pertains to overall relationships with other people so I've picked some cards here from the Easy Astrology Oracle deck and by Maya White and we're going to be using the planets and also we're going to be using the Enchanted Lenormand cards and the first card I've got here for you is the Sun and the tree has fallen out for you in the Lenormand deck. And the sun is here to um, govern your true radiant self. As the earth orbits around the sun, it makes your sun sign the most uh, single powerful influence on your personality. Now, its position in your birth sign reveals the undeniable traits that make who you are today. And with the tree, it's telling me that you love family history, and the family legacies that are left behind with all the different generations. So you're into that kind of thing here, Leo. In relationships, you love to take things steady and slow, and you'll possibly age between 30 and 40 years old. You either have hazel eyes or green eyes, and it is more about color to you than anything else. So that's your traits here. Now we have Mercury and we have the crossroads. And Mercury is a fast-moving planet, and this influences how you communicate with your romantic partners. Um, if you're not in a relationship, it is just how you uh, pertain to others in general and how you communicate. So with the crossroads, you like to be tactful in your approach because you are fair, you are refined and sociable. Now with Venus, we have the child. And Venus reveals how you love within the intimate depths of your private life. And um, with the child here, I feel you love to keep things private and keep them innocent, romantic and creative. So we'll go on to Jupiter. And then at the end of the reading here, Leo, we have um, a meaning of what this all means. So I'll, I'll give them to you. And there is a bonus question here. Now, giant Jupiter shapes your strongest held belief and what makes you lucky in love. And you have the ship. So the ship means you love to travel for education and philosophy. And you have an exotic flair about you, Leo, and a tan complexion. This makes you lucky in love. Um, you being having that sense of freedom and being able to do what you want to do. Now we'll go to Mars, the fiery planet. We have the scythe. And uh, Mars is here to unveil your deepest desire. So what it is that truly makes you um, in love and what lights your fire. And we have the scythe. So this is telling me um, someone that is uniquely um, an edgy dresser, very unique type of person that you like to go for. So we'll go on to Saturn. And Saturn has the fish next to it. So Saturn is here to teach you your love's greatest lessons. It will shine the light on your deepest relationships and challenges and limitations which you must overcome when you're in love. And the fish is here to tell you your challenges is trying to get hold of a lover. So especially if you love to get someone from overseas, they're going to be definitely hard to get hold of. So you have to overcome this and learn to go with the flow in love. We'll go on to Uranus, and we have the snake. And this is helping you discover your unique attraction and what makes you irresistible to your romantic partners. Now, the snake is telling me that you're intense, Leo, very sexy and secretive. And this is what makes you irresistible to your romantic partners. And you also are very flexible in a relationship too. So hoping the viewers hear that it's meant to go to now with Neptune we've got um, what reveals your rose-colored glasses what makes you weak at the knees when you're in love and you've got the mice so mice is a partner who has black hair and is able to handle their own business so someone with qualities of being able to handle money makes you weak at the knees now we've got Pluto which is the last planet and this is revealing one thing you must do to take your love even deeper. Now we have the garden. So maybe you need to attend more social functions together or be more public in your relationships. 
Now I'm going to um, read what the theme means. We have the tree, the child, the snake, and the garden. Now, what this is telling me is um, maybe that you need to be a little bit more patient here with the tree and the child. Maybe you need to take small steps in relationships. If you're a male, this could be with a woman who can be a little bit manipulative or she's causing trouble in public for some reason, but there is a challenging event that is going to take place. Now, someone in your network can't be trusted, and I'm feeling it is a younger person, a younger woman here. Now, we have more information here, which is the crossroads, the ship, the mice, and the fish. And what this is telling me is maybe you will go for multiple trip, uh, trips in a car here, traveling by car. And this could end up very expensive trip for you here, Leo. It can be quite stressful. And you just need to be mindful of loss or theft during that trip. This could result in loss of money. And maybe um, a business idea can be ruined. Now with the scythe in the reading, this is the focus of the reading here. And the scythe can be about cutting something off or someone or a situation. It's also about making quick decisions without letting any emotions enter into the factor. So I'm going to ask Spirit a question for you. And if you just let me uh, tune in and I'll give you the answer. So we'll be asking what is just ahead for Leo. So bear with me for a moment. Okay, I'm getting a wish come true. So whatever you've been wishing for, Leo, is about to come true. So whether that be cutting a person off or a situation or something even better than that, uh, I hope it all works out for you and I hope this has reached whoever it's meant to go to. Bye for now. Love and blessings.